Alright guys, this is uh, Physics Unit 1 homework help video. Uh, I'll go ahead and start with number one. What are the steps in the scientific method? Uh, the first step we talked about was that observation step. And forgive my handwriting, it's not very good. Um, the second step we went to was the hypothesis. Where we have a testable uh, statement or prediction. Then we went to kind of that little circle uh, that basically had experimentation. And conclusions. Sometimes then that leads to a theory. And sometimes it leads back around to another hypothesis. Sometimes we kind of get this circle thing going in here. We talked about that quite a bit today. Uh, that's what really I'm going to expect you to know for the test. Um, if we continue on, let's go to number three. It says a human hair is approximately 50 micrometers in diameter. Express this diameter in meters. So we've got 50 micrometers. And it says to express this diameter in meters. This isn't something that we talked about a whole lot in class today. Uh, we just kind of ran out of time in most of the classes. So this is a unit conversion problem. I don't know how much you remember from chemistry. Um, but I'm going to show you how I'll teach it and how uh, kind of a method that you can use to do it. So we'll take this. And we're going to take what we know we're going to put it over 1. Okay. And then if you look at your little chart that we made today, um, for every 1 meter, we want to go to meters. I need to erase a little bit of this. For every one meter, there's going to be a thousand, sorry, excuse me, one million, that's better, one million micrometers. And that's on your sheet, too. On your sheet, it says times 10 to the 6th. So you can kind of count over uh, on your conversion sheet to get to that one million number. If we take 50 divided by one million, we should get 5 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. And that should be your answer there for number three. Human hair has a diameter of approximately 5 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. If we go to number 5 here, the distance between the sun and the earth is about 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. I express this distance in kilometers and then in terameters. So we're going to do the same method here. Uh, I'll just change colors so you can tell the difference. We'll have 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. And then first we want to go to kilometers. So we're going to set up our T-chart, take what we know, put it over 1. We want to go to kilometers, and in one kilometer there are 1,000 meters. So we're going to do that, equals 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11th, divided by 1,000. And that gives us 1 point, whoops, yeah, 1.5 times 10 to the... Uh, 8th, I believe. Yes, times 10 to the 8th. Sorry, my calculator was messing up on me there. 1.5 times 10 to the 8th kilometers. If we wanted to do this in terameters, or terameters, however you say that, we do 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters over 1, 1 tm. And we talked about this in class today. Kilometer is a thousand. Megameter, or the mega, is uh, a million. Giga is a billion. So tera is a trillion. So we're going to have one and then three zeros and three more zeros. That's a million and three more zeros. That's a billion and three more zeros. That's a trillion. So take 1.5 times 10 to the 11th divided by 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
five terameters. And then number seven, this is the last one. It's another unit conversion. This one's a little bit different. It says to convert 13 meters per second to kilometers per hour. I'll change colors for us again here. We want 13 meters. Oops, sorry, I need to erase that. 13 meters per one second. And we want to go to kilometers per hour. I'm going to start with just the meters part. Let's convert the meters to kilometers. Uh, so we're going to have one kilometer up on this piece. And then on the bottom, we'll have a thousand meters. Okay, so now we're in kilometers per second because our units here cancel. If we want to convert the seconds to hours, we're going to want one hour on the bottom. And there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. If we run that through the calculator, again, our units cancel here. 13 divided by 1,000 times 3,600. And you should get 46.8 kilometers per hour. I hope that helps a little bit. I know this stuff is new and we didn't really talk about it in class, but I wanted to have you guys give it a shot and see how much you knew. Don't feel bad if you don't understand this when you come to class on Monday. Um, we'll go ahead and work through it uh, as a class either way. So I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday.